Legal analyst Barry Markson. Uh, we are talking with Adrian Fontes, the current Secretary of State, about election integrity in this special edition of Arizona Votes 2024, one year out. And uh, before we get back to Adrian Fontes, you had a really good point because I'd, I'd asked Mr. Fontes if. Um, why, you know, we've always had lying politicians. Why, to this degree, are people believing them now? Yeah, I, I think the uh, I think the biggest issue is is Trump. I, I mean, it's it started with Trump. He 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 said before the twenty twenty election that if he lost, it was stolen from him. I mean, he was talking about it before it happened. Right. And for whatever reason, everybody started running around to make that true. That that's what happened after the 2020 election. You had Rudy Giuliani whispering in his ear that it was stolen, and we have evidence. And then you had Sidney Powell, and and she was releasing the Kraken of information that never was released. All the evidence that was we never saw. Yeah. Ninety lawsuits where he lost every one of them. It's that's the difference. And for some reason, a a big wing of this this MAGA part of the of the country have grasped onto that and made that their their Bible. That this is what is governing the whole country for them despite a complete lack of evidence, and now it just keeps growing, it seems. So, uh, Secretary Fontes, uh, by my calculations, if you look at uh, the, you know, between 50 and 60 percent of GOP voters who say that Trump is their guy going into the 2024 election, you're probably looking at about a sixth of the electorate that believes that there is not election integrity in this country. So, you know, maybe in some ways that that's a relief to think of it in that way. But what do we do to convince those who are convinced that the 2020 election was stolen, the 2022 election was stolen from Kerry Lake? What do we do to convince people that that's not the case and we actually do have election integrity? Well, first of all, we got to ask ourselves if that's our job. Right. Um, is it our responsibility to change somebody's heart and change somebody's mind? Or is it the individual's responsibility uh, to actually get away from their own confirmation bias, to get away from their own echo chambers, to get away from their own very narrow point of view and look at other perspectives? I mean, that's the way good citizens have acted for a very long time. You know, let's uh, let's let's hold them to the fire. Right. A lot of these folks will say, oh, I listen to a lot of news. Do you really? Uh, I mean, if you're only looking at Newsmax and Fox, that's not a large perspective of news. You know, check out some of the other, you know, go to MSNBC two nights a week and see how that works out for you. And I say the same things to my friends on the political left. Go listen to what you're hearing on the other side so you can at least have an understanding of what that perspective is. So, so the question is based on what do we have to do. I think we have to hold all of our fellow citizens to the same standard. And that's the core value that is America. That, that, that Barry mentioned right now. It is the burden of proof. Where is the proof uh, that this position is good? What is the actual argument? Not the rumor, not the conspiracy theory, not the innuendo, you know, not the, the popular talking head on my TV station, but where's the actual evidence? And, and if we hold folks to those core values, that basic standards, you know, the argument on, this, on the MAGA side of things, the elections are all bad side of things, it falls apart completely. Uh, and, and so really the notion is uh, holding them to account for their opinions. And, and so I don't know that we have a duty to convince them so much as to let them know they're going to be held responsible for their information, just like they want everybody else to be responsible for ours. So uh, but one of the things that uh, Ken Bennett, State Senator Ken Bennett, was talking about with us earlier last hour was that bill that you were involved in as well, trying to bring some, you know, shine a light on on how people are voting and, and, and the counting of ballots and actually being able to see people's ballots on the Internet, you know, anonymously. Uh, do you, have you abandoned that idea that we need to try and convince people? No, I haven't abandoned it. I'm going to double down with Ken. I okay. mean, he is a pro-transparency guy, as am I. We installed 24-7 cameras in the election center and the tabulation center when I was the Maricopa County recorder. We brought the ballot tracking system on so, so citizens could track their own ballot as it came to them and after it arrived. Uh, at the election department. You know, you look at my track record, it's all about accountability. It's all about transparency, regardless of what my critics say. God bless them. They can have their opinions. It's still a free country. But I am open to examination. I am open to criticism as long as it is legitimate and it has proof behind it. What I don't like is, uh, you know, accusations that are based in fantasy, uh, that are based in, 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 in lies that have been 
all but proven beyond any doubt at all to be lies. You know, Barry mentioned the the lawsuits. Hell, a lot of lawsuits uh, that have been filed against me. Uh, not one of them has actually been successful. Why? Because the courts will take time to examine whatever evidence is in front of them. And in many of those circumstances, the lawyers have been sanctioned. In other words, fined for actually bringing the lawsuits because they're wasting the court's time. So all I'm doing is trying to hold anybody of a different opinion accountable to the same standard they would hold me accountable to. Show us the proof. It's like those old ladies in the old Wendy's commercial, right? (laughs) Show me the beef. That's exactly right. Where's the beef? Adrian Fontes, Arizona Secretary of State. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Great information and uh, always appreciate everything you do uh, to keep Arizona's election safe and secure. Happy to be here, and I'm glad you guys are covering this important topic. Thank you very much. All right, there you you have it. Yeah, and speaking of those uh, election lawsuits, we'll go through all of that with our KTA, our legal analyst, Barry Markson. Everything that uh, Carrie Lake, Abe Hamaday, et cetera, et cetera, brought forward in the 2022 election. Maybe we'll even go back to 2020. I don't know. We'll see. All right, that's coming up here (laughs) on Arizona Votes 2024, one year out.